Hello, my name is Mohammed Noor, and I teach Biology 202L at Duke University, Introduction to Genetics and Evolution. Now my class follows a flipped classroom format, and I wanted to let you know how that works, what are some of the advantages, things that people have liked, what are some of the disadvantages, things that people haven't liked, so you can make an informed decision about whether you want to stay in this class and how to proceed within it. So let's get started. So what happens with a flipped class format? Well, in my class in particular, what we do is we assign students to watch lecture videos outside of class time. So these lecture videos are exactly the same lectures that I used to deliver in the classroom several years ago, but these are now made specifically and formatted specifically for you to watch on your computer. They're, these are not just recordings of existing lectures, but they're ones made specifically for this format. So what you do is you'd watch these videos, probably on the order of two or three videos, each about 15 minutes in length. So you'd have to set aside probably a good hour or so just to make sure you get through all of them before every single class. Before each class, you have to watch the videos. Following watching them, you do an online quiz before the lecture. This online quiz is for you. It's to help you know if you assimilated the material from the lecture or not. And then in class time, rather than my just giving you the same material again, we use it for clarifying areas of confusion. I spend the first 10 minutes or so clarifying things that people identified as confusing in the quiz or the things a lot of people got wrong. We do a lot of practice problems. That's what most of the lecture period is actually for, most of the classroom period is actually for. You work in small groups or by yourself, however you like. And finally, I spend the last 10 minutes or so on new material or applications of the material in class, trying to show you like why is this useful, how is it used outside of the classroom. So what are some pros and cons of this? Well. The thing that a lot of students like about this is this provides you lots of opportunity for help and interaction. In a standard lecture, I would get up there and stand on the stage, I would speak at the room, and then I would get down and I would leave. So there's virtually no interaction. With this format, the time that we have together, when you and I are in the same room, I am there specifically to help you. I'm walking around the room as you all are doing practice problems. I'm answering questions. The TAs are walking around the room answering questions. I'm trying to help you understand the material better. Uh, there's lots of opportunity for practice problems and for application. In a lecture, it's very easy to sit there and nod your head and say, oh yeah, I get it, yeah, I get it. And you come to the test and you're like, oh, oh, I don't actually really get it that well. So this is the chance to really practice it on the kinds of problems you'll actually see in the assessments. So ideally, this should actually improve your grade. And in fact, we've seen that, that uh, between the semester where I, well, I was not doing the flip class and the subsequent semester when I did the flip class, there was an, a dramatic increase in test one grade performance. And finally, you can focus on raw content at the time that's optimal. So for example, my class is often offered at 8.45 a.m. Go figure, at 8.45 a.m. people aren't necessarily at their most alert. So if there's a time of day where you're more alert, let's say you're very alert at 9.30 p.m., you can watch the raw material lectures at 9.30 p.m. and try to get them then. And then in class, all you're doing is reinforcing the material that you got at your optimal time. The other thing too is you can easily replay it. Often in a standard lecture, you'll miss something the professor said. With this, pause, go back, play it again. Or if it's material you know really well, you can actually play it at 2x speed. A lot of students like to do that if, you know, in the beginning, for example, some of it is a repeat from AP Bio. So this should really help you. And really, if you keep up, and I stress that that is a definite proviso, if you keep up through the whole semester, you'll find that studying for the test is very easy. In fact, many students reported to me when I first did the flipped class format that they found that they didn't really need to study for tests anymore because the entire class period was studying. They had already gotten the material outside of class, and then in class it already was study. So these are things that some students like about it. Now, I'll, I will say it's not for everyone. These are some things that students don't like about it. Some people really don't like watching lectures on a computer. They say, I really, really don't like taking this out of a computer because I'm, you know, where I'm doing it, I'm distracted, or I just can't focus on a screen, I'd rather see this in person. It's true, That's, that is a negative. There are some people who felt like they understood the material from the video just fine, and therefore the reinforcing class time was not so useful for them. This is especially true at the beginning of the semester when I'm going over some very basic genetics concepts that many of you probably had in, in high school biology or AP biology, that maybe then you don't actually need a lot of reinforcement. Now, I will point out some people think they don't need a lot of reinforcement, they fully get it, but then when they actually do it, they're actually improving their understanding without necessarily realizing it. So you may be improving your test performance without noticing that you're doing that. 
So I'll push back a little bit on that, but I will say it's true that if you fully assimilate the material from the lectures, there's probably not a lot of advance from you know added reinforcement. A lot of students felt, said they felt like this was more work overall, and specifically there's too much out of class time devoted to lecture. Now I will say formally college classes are supposed to say that you're having two hours outside of class for every one hour in class. This does not exceed that. I will say this does not exceed that. However, it is potentially more time than otherwise you would have been uh, using. Now, again, if you keep up, I'm, I'm telling you that a lot of that time is going to come out of the study time. Basically, you don't have to cram if you've kept up through the whole semester. So that's where the savings will come in. I also did compensate by making the lecture period shorter. When I used to do a standard lecture, the lectures were an hour and a half or an hour 15 minutes long. Now with the flip class, I've shortened them down to the 45 or 50 minute periods. So I did compensate that a little bit, but some people may feel it is more work. It's your call. And finally, I will say, and this one's very true, this does require more personal responsibility. There's no spoon feeding here. If you don't watch the videos ahead of time, whether or not you show up for class, you're going to be totally lost. If you try to cram at the last minute, you won't do as well. That's just the way it is. You cannot cram, even though you think of it like, oh, it's kind of an online class, all the lectures are there, I can just watch them right before the test. If you do that, you won't do as well as if you kept up the whole time. So this does require more personal responsibility, especially as we go into, say, the test two material, of which there's a very small fraction that you probably covered in your high school classes. Now, one question that always comes up is whether class attendance is mandatory. Several people have said they felt like they don't need to come to class at all. Well, I will say that, of course, the tests and quizzes are done in the class period, so you darn well better show up for those. <laughs> The other thing too is that the material covered in class will be on the tests even if not in the lecture video. I'm making this very explicit to you right now. I will say things in class in the lecture period that will not be in the lecture videos that will be on the tests. Now when I'm, it's not going to be most of the class period. That's going to be primarily things at the very beginning or very end of the class period. But there will be such material. If you don't have it, you will not perform as well on the test. In fact, it's unlikely you would even be able to make an A on the tests. Okay, so just so you know. Now, it's true that some of the material in the beginning of the class overlaps what you'd have in high school biology or AP biology, but especially as we start into the test two material, you'll find there's less and eventually there's no overlap, especially when we get to molecular evolution. I'm sure none of you have had that material in your high school classes. In fact, I can absolutely guarantee you have not had that material in your high school classes. So keep in mind, if you're missing out and you're cramming at the last minute, you're not going to do as well with this class format. And finally, I will just emphasize, there is the benefit of reinforcement. There's plenty of times when we watch a video or we watch a lecture and we think we got it, and then we show up for a test and we didn't get it nearly as well as we thought. If you show up for class, that's, un that's unlikely to hurt you because the time when you find out you didn't get it is in just a regular class period. You can fix those gaps in your understanding. If you wait and do it at the test, then, you know, the choice is on you. So that's the punchline I'm going to give you for this whole thing. The choice is yours. Duke offers Bio202L in both the flipped format and in the standard non-flipped format. My semester is the flipped format. If you don't want to do the flipped format, sign up for Bio202L in the other semester. Don't stick it out in this semester and then be mad at me saying I hate the flipped format. I'm giving you the choice right now. You can choose whether you want to do this or not. I think there are advantages there. A lot of students have told me there are advantages there. The evaluations for the class strongly suggest that the majority of students feel there are advantages associated with it. But, again, some students really don't like it, so the choice is yours. Write me if you have specific questions, and I'll do my best to help. Thanks so much, and I hope to see a lot of you in class next time.